we're checking out the brand new Marshall Origin 20C. Before I get started, thank you so much to everybody down at Mega Music for loaning one of these. I had been eyeing off the Origin series as soon as they were announced and Mega were kind enough to reach out to me to do a demo. So thanks so much Mega Music, this is the 20C. I'm miking it up with a short SM57 that's been modified by Open Plan Recording here in Australia. Check them out. Great sounding mics. Basically this modded 57. It sounds a little bit more like a 57 blended with a ribbon which is why I've gone for it today. So let's get to the amp. Gain with a pull boost. Then we've got a brand new tilt control which from what I can understand from having a look at all the literature on the Marshall website and the manual, this is designed to sort of emulate the difference between the what they call the high treble channel on like a Super Lead or a JTM series and the normal channel. And this kind of lets you blend between them almost like having a mix knob on a jumper JTM 45. So that's a really cool feature. Then we've got bass, middle and treble, a presence control and a master volume. We've also got a three-way power switch which lets you go from high power, medium power, low power, apparently without changing the tone of the amp, we'll check that out, as well as an effects loop and a foot switchable boost for the pull boost. I'm playing an STR LJ1. Sounds like this with the master at noon and the gain at noon, tilt control is in the middle, and the EQ is more or less flat. All right, what I'm gonna do now is activate the boost with the foot switch. Let's have a listen to what that does. gain now to about three o'clock and this really gets pumping with the boost off and then with the boost on So far so good, let's have a listen to the same settings but I'm going to play around with the tilt control, we'll start with it on zero and we'll slowly wind it all the way up to ten. So to my ears, the tilt control probably sounds best around noon, which basically simulates the sound of a jumper JTM or super lead. So we're going to leave it there. Let's have a play around with the range of the bass control, the middle control, and the treble control, and let's basically listen to how they interact. We'll start with the bass control totally off. And what I'm going to do here is rather than have the middle and the treble in the middle, I'm going to crank them to about seven, which always sounds pretty good with a Marshall. Tilt control's at noon, and the presence is at around three. This is what the bass control does, starting on zero.
Marshall seemed to have fixed a common complaint with a lot of these older amps, like the JTM series or the Plexis, that they're really bass heavy amps, so you really get the bass pass it out too. In this case, I've got the bass cranked, and it still sounds really good, and it's not flubbing out yet. So go Marshall, that's really cool. I'm going to set the bass to around 7, somewhere in that between like noon and 3 o'clock range sounded best to me. Let's do the same thing with the middle control. Middle control off, and then we're going to crank it all the way up. the middle control does. Again, I'm going to leave that at 7. Let's turn the treble control all the way off and do the same thing. Let's have a listen to what the presence control does, is with the presence on zero, same thing as the other EQ controls. present sitting around three or four so to me that is how I would set this amp up if I was going to go and use it live we've got the foot switchable boost the gains at around three o'clock which is pretty good if you want to compensate for something like a Strat or a Les Paul or a hotter output you've got a little bit of room to play around with there let's have a listen to these settings with a Strat now plugging the Strat in from the same settings as the Les Paul, it's super duper bright. All we'd have to do to fix that is use a tilt control. I'm going to turn the tilt control down to about three. Have a listen to this. And just by using the tilt control, you can see that, that I was easily able to compensate for the uh, extra brightness from the Strat, which I think is really cool. That is such a clever, clever control on Marshall's part, something that would, uh, I think, work in a lot of other amplifiers, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see this type of control start to sneak its way into other designs. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to turn the master all the way up to 10, but I'm going to play around with the power scaling switch. So, master on 10, it's going to be really loud, you'll probably be seeing me wince, uh, and then I'm going to 
use the power scaling feature to show you how it changes the overall volume. So master on 10, rock and roll. So that's really well voiced, it's almost like they've designed this for the situation where you, know, you go to a gig, you set up your amp and you're really happy with your tone and then the sound guy goes, it's going to have to come down mate. So flicking it to the middle switch is like that initial amount of have to come down mate. And then if they're still cranky you can knock it down onto the lower switch and there's a really usable amount of attenuation going on there, it's not like the middle kind of takes it down just a little bit and then the low switch cuts it off completely. Uh, it's almost like having three different wattage amps in one, so that's really cool, well done Marshall. Again, that's really, really well voiced. Of course, these amps are going to be really popular as a pedal platform, so what I want to do is try out a drive pedal in the front of it. I'm going to try my good old friend, the Boss Super Overdrive, one of the cheapest, and I think the best sounding drives you can get. So we'll set this up for sort of like a clean sound, and then we'll use the super overdrive and the boost function to get a rhythm sound and a lead sound. Let's do that. All right, we've got the Boss SD1 plugged in. Here is a clean sound. This is the gain and the master at noon, tilt and presence around three, bass and middle around seven, and the treble sitting at about four. Sounds like this clean. Here is with the boost from the amp. And then with the pedal on top of the boost. I get a kind of in-between thing happening while I've still got the pedal on. If I play around with the tilt control now, because I'm colouring the input of the sound with the Super Overdrive, I'm going to get some different results. Here is with the same settings with the tilt at noon. And you can hear that as I played around with the tilt control, we get an even more drastic effect than if I just plug the guitar in because what we're doing now is overdriving the input signal of the guitar and using the tilt control as a kind of post EQ on the drive. So again, really, really cool, well thought out design. The other features, as you can see, it's really, really well built. All the sort of detail work on the Tolex and the piping and stuff like that is really, really nice. The jacks look good. The finishes on this one anyway is really superb. Uh, even the LED looks really nice and sexy. So there's the Marshall Origin 20C. Kind of a no-brainer. The price is really good, the build quality is great, 
and there are a range of great vintage tones in here that will work with whatever guitar you like to use and whatever sort of pedal you want to run into the front of it. I think they more than achieve their goal of trying to capture the classic Marshall sound of the 60s together with the modern features of being a pedal platform. Plus, it's small. You can have your guitar on your back, your pedal board in one hand and this in another hand walk into and out of a gig in one trip, which I think is amazing. So if you're in Australia and you want more information about this, go and visit Mega Music for all the information. Otherwise, check out Marshall's website. And if you like this demo, please hit subscribe and check out all my other videos with all the other Marshalls. I'll see you guys next time.